since more or less. Here's the bottom of the case. Everything's kind of drilled through with the pilot and made bigger to the actual size that I need it. And then of course the the edge was broken or countersunk if you may to make sure everything's kind of nice and equal. Now I got to adapt this crap, the short truss to that. So i to start that process, it's super fun. So the cup holder is pretty much simple. It's pretty much held down by these uh, supports down here just so it doesn't fall in. Cut out regular cup, put it in. Right, so this is my, my trap door that I kind of have here that where my laptop sits so you can see the outline. So it sits right over it. This is basically a little trap door that I made so I can run the USB and then the power cable for the laptop through here. And then uh, here is just when I take my laptop and take it home. I can just disconnect the, the charger, the adapter, take it out, put it back in, and then just kind of call it call it a day. So I finally mounted this guy to the truss that I got. This is a one-piece truss. I had to order it. It's a 0.875 length meter truss. It was on two regular steel bases because I wanted to make sure it held. Um, I got the, the pattern up here for these guys right here. This is a global truss. Just like that. Boom. One, two four as soon as i slid this one in the first time it slid right in perfectly so here's this custom piece i got it all fitted again this goes this goes light last because it's uh basically going to be sealed there it is Ooh. and then i got the controller i'm going to drop this sits more or less so let's get in there. So this is the bottom part of the DJ booth. Uh, I had I put this uh, this plate here, this aluminum plate here, just for extra strength and stuff. I have these little truss couplers, dupplers, whatever the the ching of that as I go there that attach to the truss. Um, obviously, this is just like as I grab it, normal like I set it on the truss, like that for instance. Set it on top of the truss, it sits in there, pin it up, good to go. This is obviously my right left signal main power you know click 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 turn it locks and then that's it this whole thing just powers this is up. the temporary steel base that i'm using but this is the the actual one piece truss so up there you can see how it's all attached it literally just comes in this top part attaches to the truss as if it's another truss piece and i just finished up plumbing up my antennas for my mics <laughs> in here with obviously that rack power conditioner sure mics everything's kind of rolled up as neat as i possibly can there's a two plugs coming out the, the left and right channel for stereo mode the main power source which again is this guy right here so just like that you come in lock it in done that's it the way the mixer works is the drawer nice and smooth works perfectly uh for the, for me to keep the mixer connected i did have to cut the the drawer exactly to the size that way the mics don't fall out in case i do tilt this thing in its light case so you know, again two mics uh this thing stays connected i don't have connected knocks i'm still waiting for some angle cables but uh stays connected i could just you know in the middle of an event do my thing open it up make an adjustment close it good to go 